Hi everyone. COVID-19 has taught us that relationships are more important than things and that people matter over stuff. So I want to talk to us about how we can use this opportunity to serve each other. So here are 10 ways that we can serve God's people and our community during this time of COVID-19. Number one is the best way is we can pray for others. That's the best way to serve it. And we can um, pray like the Apostle Paul. Why don't take Paul's prayers and write them out onto cards and use them to pray for other believers in our church. Number two, pray with others. Ask people what you can pray for them about and then actually do it. Number three, walk with others. Walking is a great way to not only just exercise, but just to chat and to connect and to deepen our friendships with one another. Tip number four is to care for the elderly. Why not check in on your neighbors or your relatives and continue to offer to um, help shop for them or show them how online shopping works, but care for our elderly. Number five is to be an encourager. You know, work out what it means to build others up. We, it's a lost art, the art of encouragement, and we need to be more of a Jonathan than a Nathan. Do you know what I mean by that? Jonathan was the friend of King David who encouraged him. Nathan was the guy who rebuked him and corrected him. And there's a place for correction, but work out what it means to be a Jonathan. Send people encouraging cards. Tell people well done when they've done something well done. Build each other up. Number six is be generous with your money because there are mission organizations that are, are down and need financial support. CMS giving is down, BCA giving is down. Work out which Christian groups are doing it tough and be generous with your money. Number seven is be generous to people in need. We Christians should be generous people. Um, why not help us stock up our church pantry for people who come asking us for, for food? Uh, Christians aren't hoarders because we've got a God who splurged on us. Number eight is to adopt a healthcare worker. Why not think about a doctor or a medical worker that you know and pray for them and actually ask them for prayer points and find out from them how you can pray for them. Number nine is initiate connecting in your community or your circle of friends. Arrange jigsaw puzzle swaps, book swaps, DVD swaps. Have dinner in your driveway as a way of connecting with your community. Be the person who initiates the connecting with others. And number 10 is be hospitable. Now that the days of, you know, online game nights and movie nights and online online dinners are slowly winding down, why not open your home, restrictions in mind, to someone or a group of people for a meal? Have others over um, to watch church with someone on a Sunday. And don't forget to get out of your jammies before you do. Remember that our God has served us so generously with his son and that's why we want to serve others.